What is going on people? My name is Atrax here. Today boys and girls is a very, very exciting day due to the fact that today is the Microsoft E3 press conference but we're not going to be talking about that within this video. I've actually got a special video for you guys because the other day I received a very, very cool package. Now, some of you guys may know what this is, some of you guys obviously may not know what this package is but it's very, very cool. I'm going to talk to you why. I sort of brought this for myself and how it's going to help me doing YouTube. But without further ado, guys, do be sure to put your feet up, have a bicky, and enjoy, and let's jump straight into it. Right, boys and girls, so the other day I decided to actually go out and buy myself a state of the art gaming laptop. Now, before we get into this, like, sort of review video, I want to say. I'm mainly going to be showcasing to you guys how I'm going to use this laptop and how it's going to help me making YouTube videos. Um, I just want to say that it is a super, super amazing laptop for what I actually paid and it's got all the, the latest like software, hardware, this, that and the other. So yeah, let's have a look at my brand new gaming laptop. So here we are boys and girls, my brand new Lenovo gaming laptop. Now I paid just over, well just under a grand for this bad boy. Um, you know what, as a matter of fact, let's open it up. So, give me one sec because it's quite difficult to open. There we go, boys. The keyboard lights up red. Let me just lock into it. And as a matter of fact, boys and girls, I honestly didn't think that it would be this big. It is the same size as the monitor that I've got in my bedroom, or my office, let's say, because, as a matter of fact, this is actually my bedroom, and it's a bit of a mess at the moment. But yeah, this laptop, boys and girls, is what I'm going to be using to make all my videos on, what I'm going to be helping me sorting out all the problems on live streaming, and not only that, it's what I'm going to be downloading most of my graphics needs for, so thumbnails, you know, overlays, ETC, and I'm even going to try and get Sony Vegas on this bad boy, so when i got one video rendering, Rendering, <laughs> rendering on my PC tower. I can come onto this laptop, start rendering another video. So by the time that one's finished, this one should be finished, and I can go back to my PC tower to start rendering another video and editing it. Then coming back into my bedroom to edit on this bad boy. Now, this laptop actually has a i7 processor. As a matter of fact, I'm not entirely sure what um, processor it is. So we're going to have a look now. It has got an Intel Core i7-6700 HQ, uh, I've lost, I'm lost for words boys. And as you guys can see there, it's got an Intel Core i7-6700 HQ 2.6 gigahertz processor. It's got 16 gigabyte RAM. It's got one SSD, which is a solid state drive, so you can run all of your like applications and stuff off that. And it's also got one terabyte of hard drive memory. So, as a matter of fact, it is quite a beast PC, if I do say so myself. And not only that, it's also got a GeForce GTX 1080M graphics card, I think it is. So, it is kind of a beast. I've, I've been playing some games, I've downloaded Minecraft, I've re-downloaded Battlefield by Company 2. And if we're being nice, boys and girls, I've had no problems with it so far, and it is a pretty cool laptop. Now, I was going to have this laptop featured within this game itself. So, as you can see where my HTTP VR there is, I was going to move that to somewhere under my TV over there and have my laptop sitting across there. But as you guys can see, my PlayStation 4 is on the edge, and the distance between the PlayStation 4 and my TV isn't enough room for the laptop to sit in. It needs about, I don't know, another two, three inches worth of space, and... It's a bit of a shame really, but look, I've said this plenty of times before boys and girls, this TV is not staying there. We're actually going to be getting another one of these monitors I think, or something like a BenQ gaming monitor for, for obviously gaming on ETC. Then once that goes across there, I'll have more than enough room for my laptop to go on there. But we won't be getting one of them monitors anytime soon, probably going to have to be waiting, I don't know, a couple of months or so. Um, but it is a bit of a shame that we can't have the laptop sitting across there. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm obviously rendering a video on my PC tower. Then I'm going back into my bedroom, uh, doing a thumbnail for the video, ETC. And then I'm coming back in here, uploading the video. As soon as the video is uploaded, I go back into my bedroom, tagging a video, ETC, putting a thumbnail on. And that is how I'm working, doing YouTube at the moment. 
So yeah, boys and girls, this laptop is just absolutely insane. It is the best laptop that I've ever had due to the fact that it's got an i7 processor, it's got a pretty good graphics card, good memory, solid state drive, this, that, and the other. And for what I pay for it, I paid, I'm paying 75 quid a month for all these laptops. I got it on finance because obviously I ain't got the money to just go out and go all out and just buy a laptop outright. So I'm doing it on finance without any interest. So 74 times 12. Do the maths, boys and girls. It is just under a grand. Um, but apart from that, it is a pretty good game. So I'm going to load Minecraft up. Just to show you guys how well this laptop will actually run. So if we put that big screen. Let's go back into this world. I actually haven't been playing much on this game. But as you guys can see. It is pretty damn smooth. The one thing that I would say is a bit of a problem though. Like as you guys can see I'm moving my cursor. But every time you run it just don't work. I'm not too sure wh why that is. But it is it is a pretty pretty insane lap laptop. Like when I've been playing uh, Minecraft and Battlefield Bad Company 2. There's hardly been any sort of uh, frame, frame rate dropping if you know what I mean. And... Apart from that, let's try and kill this cow. Apart from that, the laptop is doing a pretty good job at the moment. And the other thing that I would say that I don't like about this laptop is the actual mousepad. Because normally on my past laptops, these two, the left cursor and the right cursor, if you know what I mean, say you've got a mouse, you've got left and right. That'll be a button, but as a matter of fact, it's all in one, so it's a bit... It's not the best, but I've got some mouses that I can use if I want to uh, plug it into my laptop. And as you guys can see, it is a pretty insane gaming laptop. There's hardly any frame rate. I'll tell you what I'm running Minecraft on at the moment. So we go into options. If we go into video settings, it's at 90 frames per second and a render distance of 11 chunks. Let's turn up to 17 and 120. See how that, that will help. See if any frame rate will drop then. Okay, it's got a little bit. You guys might not be able to tell because I'm recording this with my phone. But for the most part, it's hardly visible. And it's quite good, if we're being honest. So, I ain't going to complain. Money that I've spent in my eyes. And it is a good investment if I'm to do what I want to do on YouTube. And you guys are probably wondering what I'm going to be doing with my PC tower. Like I've already said, I'm going to be using it mainly for rendering videos and live streaming. Whereas my laptop is going to be more of like gaming slash editing, thumbnails, overlays, etc. But I'm going to be upgrading some of the aspects of my PC tower. I want to get an i7 processor for that bad boy and upgrade the graphics card. Probably add another terabyte hard drive and potentially a solid state drive. But at the moment... I'm actually saving up for all of the E3 games because I watched the EA conference. Pardon me. Watched the EA press conference last night along with Bethesda. And Skyrim Remastered looks absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for that game to drop. Hopefully, it comes out later this year. And of course, you've got the games like FIFA 17, uh, Titanfall 2, which looks quite good. I'm actually quite happy that that game's got a um, single player campaign because I think that's what the downfall was. On Titanfall 1 was the fact that it's multiplayer only. So I'm really looking forward to playing the Titanfall 2 campaign. And there's just so much more games that are going to be immense that are yet to be announced. And I can't wait to see what the Xbox One and PS4 exclusives are. Of course the Xbox One actually has a new console, the Xbox One Slim. If you have missed that video, go check it out in the description box down below. And not only that, boys and girls, it is going to be a good, good year for gaming altogether. But that is it for this video. I'm going to leave you guys here. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this video of me talking to you guys about my new gaming laptop. And if you have, do be sure to smash that like button down below. And of course, if you are new to my channel, do be sure to subscribe to the Attracts the Army for more content on a regular basis. With that said, boys and girls, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I shall be back soon with a brand new video.